This video will show you how to use the EPACT dashboard and app as a group administrator. Please note that we will show all features, but please check with your organization to determine if you have permission to use a certain feature, for example messaging or downloading. Let's go to the dashboard now. After you receive your invitation to be a group administrator, please either sign up to create your EPACT account, or you can log in if you already have one. Since we already have one, We'll simply log in. You will receive an invite for each group you administer, so you can double check you've been assigned to the correct groups. Please accept the invites, and once done, you will be taken to your dashboard. You will start off on the All Member Records tab. This tab shows you a combined list of all of the members that you administer. To narrow down to a specific group, simply click on the Groups tab and select the group name and you will be shown a list of all of the members just in this specific group. You can click on the name of your organization at the top to go back to the All Member Records tab. Member records are listed alphabetically by last name, and if they have a red flag next to their name, it means they have an important medical condition, which will be apparent later when we look at the member record. The email listed here is the parent's email, and this column shows the status of the record. All records start off as to be invited. This means they've been added to ePACT, but an invitation hasn't been sent yet. Once the invitation has been sent, the status will change to invited. And this means that the parents have maybe received the email, but haven't yet started their record. Once the record is started, the status will change to outstanding and will stay in outstanding until the record has been submitted. Once it has been submitted, the status will change to submitted and the date submitted will update accordingly. If a record is downloaded for any specific reason, the status will change to downloaded and the date downloaded will update accordingly. Reconfirmation requested means this might be a returning member whose parents need to review their record to make sure it's up to date and to sign any new waivers that might have been added. Using paper forms, is organization specific, so please check with your organization to determine if you'll be using this feature. It might mean that parents have decided not to use ePACT and have been denoted as using paper forms instead. The final status is unlinked. This means that for whatever reason, the parents have disconnected themselves from your organization. This could be intentional or be a mistake. Please check with the parent directly to confirm their intention. The next column here shows the action icons. The first action icon is the pencil edit icon. When we click on that, this takes us to the edit members screen, and this is where you can update some information if you need to. However, please check with your organization if you'll be updating any information here, as most of this information will come from your registration system. The verified email here shows the email that's currently connected to the parent's ePACT account. Imported emails are the emails that come from your registration system. The email status will show delivered if the message has been delivered, undelivered, of course, if it's bounced back, or when the message has been opened, it will say opened and show a time and date stamp. At the bottom here are the groups that are specific to this participant. We can click cancel to go back. The next action icon is the eyeball icon. This is how we view a record. So this will show us this child's record. The important medical information at the top here are the flagged conditions that we spoke about earlier. As we go down, we can see there's a lot of information here. This will be specific to your organization, so it might look quite different from what you're seeing here. And as we go down to the bottom of the record, we can see that there's family information, emergency contact, pickup list, as well as waivers, consent questions, and finally the signature and the date and timestamp for the signature. The next action icon is the speech bubble. This shows us internal communication between administrators where you can denote a participant maybe has gone home sick for the day or maybe had an incident. This is internal and is only visible to other administrators and not visible to parents or participants. The next action icon is the little piece of paper this shows us the shared files for this participant. These can be files that either a parent has uploaded or an administrator has uploaded here. 
If you need to download a file, you can click download or download all if there's more than one. And if you need to upload a file, you can click upload file to, and follow the prompts. Please note that files that are uploaded by administrators are only visible to other administrators. We can click return to member records to go back. Now I'll show you how to send messaging. You can send messages to parents, emergency contacts, and pickup contacts if needed. Simply select the participants that need to receive a message, select message members, and then pick your message type. Please note that the first three types, invite, reminder, and reconfirm, are likely to be managed at the organization level and please, so please check with your organization administrator to determine if you should be sending these types of messaging. If you need to send a general message, select general message, or you can also send an emergency message if it's important by selecting emergency message. We'll go ahead and select general because we want to send a general message. The next screen allows you to select who should receive this message. You can send it to legal guardians, emergency contacts, or pickup list contacts if it's enabled, we're only sending a general message, so we just want to send it to legal guardians. Select review message, and on the next screen you can actually type out the message that you'd like to send. The first, the first box is for email messaging, and then if you have text or voice messaging enabled, you'll have some additional boxes you can fill in. Please note that you have a character limit for text messaging, so be mindful when you're typing your text message. Once you're happy with your message, you can click preview message. And the next screen will show what your email message looks like, as well as your text and voice message as well. If you're satisfied, click send message to send the message. And then you can select return to member dashboard to go back. The next button here is to download. This is where you can actually download a record or a file. However, again, please check with your organization to see if you should be downloading at all. The next one are the more actions. The first two will likely be run through the API or a list upload, so please check with your organization if you should be using these first two. Add to group is how you can add a participant to a group that you administer, and remove from groups is to how you can remove someone from your group if they shouldn't be there. Using paper form and using EPAC are also likely to be administered through your organization level, so please check with your organization to determine if you should be using these features. Using paper forms is how we denote someone as using paper form, and using EPACT is how we switch them back to using EPACT. The final action here is to export a list, which we will show more once we've gone over the advanced search and filter, which we'll talk about next. Now we'll talk about how to use the advanced search and filter and to pull a report. The advanced search and filter can be accessed by selecting the link here. This will expand the search options. And there's even more options that you can expand as well to see the full filter. The search bar here allows you to search for records by first name, last name, email address, member ID. You can search by status group name, medical dietary information, consents and other questions if there are shared files, as well as session or division. You also have date filters here where you can sort by specific dates, as well as additional options at the bottom for if they have a comment or if they are verified or not for texts. We want to go ahead and see everybody who's going on the August field trip that has an allergy. So we can go to our group names here, drop that down, select the August field trip, go over to the medical and dietary field, and now we want to search for anyone who has an allergy. We can see allergies listed here, but if you also want to search for it, you can type in the field that you need and then select the additional categories as well. Once you've entered all the information that you need, click search at the bottom, and this will show you a list of everybody going on the August field trip with an allergy. So there are nine participants listed here. If we need to pull a report, we can select page or select all if there's more than 50. Click more actions and then export list. The next screen allows you to add or remove additional information in your report for these nine members. We don't need a bunch of this information at the top. 
but we do want to know the legal guardian, emergency contact, and pickup list contact information, as well as the allergy information is here. And we don't need any other information for this specific list, so we'll go down to the bottom and click export. Once you've exported the list, it will generate in the background and you will receive an email link once it is ready. Click return to dashboard. Once your report has been generated and you've received your email, it can be found by clicking on the account activity log here and selecting view. And then you can select the report that you've exported, click view, and it shows you a report where you can download the file now. And then once you've downloaded the file, you can open it up to actually view the information in the report. It will export as a spreadsheet, so you can manipulate the data if you need to. But you can see all of the fields that we've selected are here. The names of the participants, legal guardians, emergency contacts, the few pickup contacts listed here, as well as the allergy information that we need to know for these participants. And then we can go ahead and close this file to go back and select back to account activity log and then back to dashboard to go back to the all member records tab.